So what are you doing today? Uh, I'm going to make the new butter burn. This is the new butter recipe that we're having with coffee. And instead of actually making it with butter, we're actually um, souping it up and making it with biodynamic ghee. Australian grown. And, um, and organic coffee we're also using, high latitude organic coffee. So we um, are reducing our myco mycotoxin intake. And, uh, and MCT oil, which will help. It's a medium chain triglyceride oil and um, absorbs quicker, quicker into the brain. Um, it has a different function than the, the, the ghee. Okay, and what's the benefits of using ghee over butter? Uh, ghee over butter is that um, you don't have any of the lactose that comes with butter. That's um, also with this ghee, it's biodynamic. Most butter is organic, and that's you know um, how much have you verified the organicness of the organic if it's just labelled organic or whatever. Um, and then this is actually going to help me supercharge the rest of my day with video shooting and editing later on into the night. And so, what are the different tools that you use to make this? Uh, the tools that I'm using today is called the AeroPress. Um, you can get this at Amazon, there's a link below. Um, and, um, and a hand whisk. This is a $2 item that I picked up at Kmart. And um, it's real simple and it works really good for me and it whisks up the, the ghee and the coffee combination so it becomes all frothy. So, first thing what I do is I um, I'll boil the kettle and I'll grab a spoon and I'll begin with spooning in the ghee into the cup. And I'll take that much, three big teaspoons. So that's all boiled now. Sometimes you have to make sure that the um, this ghee is really soft, so that's really good in this case. Sometimes you, when you get butter out of the fridge, it's actually rock hard. And if you try to mix rock hard butter with coffee, it's going to take a long time to melt. So in this case, what I do is then I pour, um, you know, just a little bit of water with the butter. In this case, it's ghee, and the ghee's already melted, so this is all, you know, um, going to be super easy for us today. Um, so that's that. Then I'll just pre um, get the AeroPress all set up. I've got a little paper filter here. So I'll just grab a single paper filter. Whack it on that. So we're going to put the coffee in the, the top here. So where do you get that coffee from? This coffee comes from Quest Coffee Roasters. They're a local roastery here on the Gold Coast. And um, they roast their coffee really fresh and they're all organic. And if they're not, they're Rainforest Alliance. And they basically source their own coffee direct from the, the coffee producers in each country that they get the coffee from instead of relying on a middleman. So. I'm doing a, a double shot in here. And then one thing to do with the coffee is you don't need to put it in the fridge, but just take all the air out of the bag, seal it, and then if it is good, fresh coffee um, and pre-ground, um, if you don't have to put it in the freezer, a lot of people have that, believe in that myth of putting coffee in the freezer, when actually when you put coffee in the freezer, the moisture that's in the bag turns into moisture when it's in the freezer, it freezes and then it starts to rancify when it thaws out, when you bring it out again and when you put it back. So there's no point in really doing that. Um, next step is just um, pour up to level 2 to get the, the 30 mil sort of double shot amount. And then we'll give it a stir for about five to ten seconds. So 
I usually try to give it a, a biodynamic stir in five to ten seconds. And then it's got a nice head of crema on the top. And then now we can slowly press the coffee through the filter. Over a five to ten second duration in a smooth and steady motion. So that's our coffee and ghee mixture. And, um, and now we're just going to add a tablespoon of MCT oil as well. So I just, I guess what that is. About that much. And, um, and we use our hand whisk. This is a um, pretty exciting thing. And we'll just give it a whisk for 20 seconds. Like so. You can see it getting all frothy now. And you can add a little bit more water if you want to, to taste. And you know, give it a whisk if you want to stir it in a little bit more so it's not totally separated and that's what we call a ghee butter burn mm. you want to try it?